Portland Trailer Blazers is meet your new head coach, and his name is Chauncey Billups. Yeah, that Chauncey Billups. You already know who I'm talking about. We're talking about Chauncey Billups, the five-time All-Star, 2004 NBA champion, three-time All-NBA, two-time All-Defensive, and 2003-2004 Finals MVP. You already know who we're talking about. He's done it all as a player, so credit to him. He has actually signed a five-year deal with the team, Nate, so <laughs> he looks like he's going to be the coach for a very, very long time. Um, they, the uh, the uh, Portland Trailblazers announced that he will be introduced uh, Tuesday in a news conference in Portland, which, by the way, if somebody can answer this question for us, because we have no clue how this is happening, because as of now, according to the article, it says former assistant, and a deeper into the article, it says current role with the Clippers. So if he's still with the Clippers, if you guys can comment how that's going to work, then let me know. I assume that he goes, he does the meeting Tuesday, despite whether it is a game or not, or he's there. I'm not quite sure. But getting to the actual details of things, Nate, yeah, I mean, Chauncey Bills is the new head coach of the uh, Portland Trailblazers. And he does have a quote right here. Um, he said, and I quote, Portland is a special place and a unique franchise. As a player, I always love playing here because the passion and knowledge of the fans brought out the very best in me as a competitor. Now I'm looking forward to being on the other side of that energy and engaging in the Portland community on the whole other level. And um, yeah, I mean, um, overall, Nate, this, this search for a, a new head coach for the Portland Trailblazers, they had some pretty interesting candidates, you know. Um, Brooklyn Nets assistant Mike D'Antoni, uh, San Antonio Spurs assistant Becky Hammond, and they all met with uh, Allen, and they all and they also met with Allen and Oshie in Seattle. And in case you guys don't know who that is, basically Neil Oshie, he is the president of basketball operations, and Blazers chair uh, Jody Allen. That's who it is. So there's the chair and the president of basketball operations. That's who was going. That's who was working with the interview process. So those are the two people. So, you know what, Nate, I'll let you start off first. But before I do, the source for this article was uh, Adrian Wojnarowski. Your thoughts on Chauncey Billups becoming a new head coach of the Portland Trailblazers? Um, well, first of all, you know, congratulations to Chauncey Billups on becoming a new head coach of the Portland Trailblazers. Um, he, he does play a role with L.A. Clippers as of right now. So, like you said, I'm not sure how that's um how that's um, going to work, but... I don't know if you mentioned this, but he's also been um he also he has also been vetted several times for high level NBA leadership jobs. He was all, which includes an offer to become the, the president of basketball operations for the Cavaliers in 2017, um and in his current role with the Clippers. So he definitely does have some knowledge on the game. You know, like you say, he's played he played in the NBA for 17 seasons. He's an NBA champ. He's a five time All Star. He's a two-time all defensive. He's a he's a finals MVP. He's done it all, you know. Um I believe he stopped playing in 2014, I believe. What it was 2014. Um, I'm pretty sure it was that year. Um, I know he started in 97, but I'm not sure. I think it was 20. Was it 2014? It was 2014. It was yeah, 2014. He to, okay. Uh, he he uh he returned to uh Detroit and played his last year in uh 2014. Right. So yeah, um I look at this Mario, and I think this could definitely help the. Um, I think this can definitely help the uh, Blazers. You know, it, it at least helps to keep uh, Damian Lillard in town. You know, it help it helps because Chauncey Bills not only retired recently, you know, almost you know almost ten years ago, but again, you know, uh, Chauncey Bills is only forty four years old, so he has so you know, times on his side. He's not an old coach. He's very familiar with the game. Again, like I said, five time All Star. He's an NBA champ. He's a Finals MVP. You know, he's an all-defensive player, you know. And I and, and Chauncey Bills was a great defensive player. You know, he was really good at defense in this time. So, and, and that's something, when you look at it, Mario, I believe that was something the Trailblazers were definitely lacking on with defense. They're getting a coach that's familiar with both sides of that. You know, so I definitely think that's something that could benefit them moving forward. Um, you look at Chauncey Billups, you know, he was a defensive player. He was an offensive player as well. He did a great, you know, he was a really good job at both of that. So I feel like they could definitely use a guy like Chauncey Billups um, to help him out on that front. So with that being said, you know, to Paul and Trailblazers, you know, best of luck to them. Uh, again, congratulations to Chauncey Billups. You know, best of luck to you. Uh, best of luck to you in Portland. Right. Well, first of all, congratulations to Chauncey Billups on becoming a new head coach of Portland Trailblazers. He's got a talented roster on him, Nate. You know, I mean, Damian Lillard, uh, CJ McCollum, 
I'm not sure if Carmelo Anthony is going to be there next year, but if he is, then he's got him. Nurkic is a pretty good player as well. Overall, he's got a decent team on it, on him. And they said they're going to be aggressive. So I hope that that leads them to getting past, like at least to the Western Conference Finals or past it. You know, they've been to the Western Conference Finals once. They got swept by the Golden State Warriors. But um, overall, they, yeah, the Portland Trail has got to hit that next level. You know, they've been good. They, they've been good enough to make the playoffs. They just haven't been good enough to get far into the playoffs, you know. And hopefully Chauncey Billups is that guy. He's got five years to prove it, you know. So he's going to be their head coach for the next five years. So I hope that he ends up building a good relationship with these players. And I hope that they end up doing big things together. Overall, Nate, like I remember him back in 2003, 2004. I remember that Pistons versus Lakers finals. And I remember the Pistons absolutely just like absolutely just outplayed the, the L.A. Lakers. And he was a big part of that. Like I said, 2003, 2004 finals MVP, Chauncey Billups. So he's always been a good leader. You know, in my opinion, he's your I'm going to be honest. He reminded me a little bit like the way he played of like Chris Paul, just not as like a like just not as illustrious, you know. I feel like Chris Paul probably had a better career, but I feel like Chris Paul's had a better career despite the NBA finals and everything like that. But overall, Chauncey Billups, again, as a player, he was very well-rounded. The question is, is he going to be the same way as a coach? And the Clippers do like him as an assistant. You know, he joined their, he joined their squad. He's done a very, very good job. Um, they give him a lot of credit according to, the, according to sources in the article uh, to the way Paul George has been playing. So that's something that they can definitely take with that he can definitely take with him. But overall, Nate, now you're going to become a head coach, and overall, and you got a good team in the Blazers with Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. You got a good duo, but now it's time to take them to the next hump. And again, their coach for eight nine seasons was uh, Terry Stotts, and Terry Stotts again he did a good job with that team, but he was never able to get them to that next level. He got them to the Western Conference Finals one time, and he got swept there by the Golden State Warriors. So now it's up for Chauncey, up to Chauncey Billups to take them to that next level. And it's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be hard, especially when you look at the West, especially when LeBron and Anthony Davis are healthy, especially when you have, uh, I'm trying to think of the teams in the West. I'm, I'm trying to think real quick. You know, um, you got the Lakers, you got the Clippers, you got the Jazz, you have the Nuggets. You know, these are very, very good teams in the West. And the West is a very, very talented uh, conference, the Suns. So you, you got a very, very talented conference in, in the West. So it's going to be pretty tough for Chauncey Billups to make the finals. But do I think it is possible for him to make it? Yeah, absolutely. Anything's possible, but he has to, but he has to get them over that hump. So, but he's got five years to do it, which is good news for him. So overall, I do wish him the best of luck and we'll see how the Portland Trailblazers do next year.